Good morning, happy Saturday. Today is Saturday and it is a really different type of morning because we have to move everything in the middle of our rooms because today our house is getting sprayed from any bugs. <sighs> so we had to move everything from the corners, the couch, the bed, everything from the walls. So that's what we had to do last night. And so we have to leave and go somewhere for a couple hours. So we're probably gonna go get some bagels at this bakery and then just work at a coffee shop until we can come back. So that is what our Saturday morning looks like. I am just drinking some cranberry juice before we leave. I took a shower, just put my hair back. It's still wet, it's only 6 a.m. So um, yeah, we gotta leave right now. So I got my books, things I gotta do at the coffee shop. And yeah, we're off to um, an adventurous Saturday. So um, let's go eat, I am hungry, so let's go on our room i'll show you our room really quick it is like everything when we get back i have to put everything back and then i want to film my um diaper bag reveal with you guys so it's gonna be a fun vlog okay let's go get some bagels so we had to move the bed from the corners <laughs> he does not want to wake up it's so comfortable we had to move everything in the corner he can spray under this um, dresser, but also to restroom, everything out of the cabinet. Oh, this was a lot of work. Everything in the middle. And um, yeah, so, and then from the kitchen seat cabinet. So when we get back, oh, that's gonna be some work, but it's okay. I'd rather have all the little spiders um, gone <laughs> so we never have to deal with them you know again so we've seen so many ugly ones too so we're like uh, -uh it's time to spray so it's just because of summertime because of heat and yeah okay we're gonna head out soon mm. <laughs> jalapeno you got jalapeno so we ate at the bagel place this morning, then we went to um, Starbucks just to do a little bit of work. Now we're at Target, I'm dragging my husband to Target. <laughs> I have a little list of what I have to get. Um, I'm showing you guys today what's going in my diaper bag. So I bought some stuff the other day, what I needed. Um, but I have, um, I wanna buy some wipes here just to have some um, there at the house as well. And then I need to buy an honest hand sanitizer honest hand wipes like the actual wipes mm -hmm. and um, a couple other little things so let's go gotta go do that and then um, I'm excited to finally share my diaper bag with you guys so Ooh. let's go I'll see if I do any filming in there but um yeah I'm happy I already wrote a little list so I'm just not like grabbing everything but yeah <laughs> alrighty so guys his first 672 box. diapers We'll use every single, or wipes. We'll use every single one of these wipes. His first box is buying his baby girl. First of many. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the rack. Look how cute. All her clothes. We just got home from being out. We actually stayed out a lot longer. But I wanted to show you, Preston. Put my little frame up, little picture. So that area looks so cute. Things are starting to get clean. Oh, the exterminator came and sprayed, so now we're just kind of putting things back together. A couple more things I have to hang and put up. So then you come over here. So that section's done. Over here, we need to make sure we put all this away. A lot of it's baby girl stuff, so got to get that organized. Got to organize this because it has a lot of her new cribbing crib pieces in there for like sheets and stuff. Then we come over here, her little cart. I'll go over that with y'all too. And then this is her crib section and then strollers and stuff. So yeah, everything's coming together. The big thing was I wanted to get it sprayed before. So, so yeah, now I can like, now I can do stuff and put everything. He can build the crib and stuff. So, so yeah, I'm gonna show you guys my diaper reveal 
in just a few minutes. Okay, let's just admire this cookie really quick and take a moment. <laughs> this is the cookie. There's this, um, my parents, they're friends. They, she's, her daughter, she makes these cookies and she's the one that um, made them for the baby shower. They're, it's a s'mores cookie. Oh my lanta, this is gonna be so good. <sighs> my mom um, just brought me two home, so oh my goodness, I'm excited. Okay, then I promise you I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna show you my diaper, for, diaper bag reveal. This is exciting. I'm finally doing my diaper bag reveal with you guys. I've had this diaper bag now probably for a month or a month and a half, and I've just been waiting to show you guys. Um, you guys ready? Okay, so I was on the hunt for the right diaper bag. I did my research. I looked up a bunch of brands. I wanted to be practical but also I want it to be, I wanted it to still be cute, but I wanted it to be able to wear press and could put like a backpack on and just push the stroller or carry her with the baby. I wanted that, like I didn't want a side shoulder where I'm like, it's falling off of me and I'm trying to hold the baby. I'd rather just put it on my back or clip it to the stroller or you can do crossbody as well. So I was thinking, I was like, what is a good diaper bag? I looked at Stella McCartney, looked at Gucci, the Gucci outlet, and I'm like, I want something wipeable. I want something that I'm not afraid to put down on the ground that's okay to get dirty, just wipe it, you know? So I was like, okay, what, what bags? I text my sister. She's like, okay, she has a Gucci diaper bag that she used for Saint. Um... So I was like, I, I, I'm like on the hunt for a good diaper bag. Then I went back to like my nostalgia of like childhood. Like, um, I remember when the Petuna Pickle backpacks were in, um, diaper bags. I was like, those were good diaper bags because they were boxy. They were able to carry a lot. The, the, um, you were able to change the baby's diaper on like the diaper bag like it would unfold you know i was like those were good diaper bags and I, re I remember they were like really hot and everyone wanted them so then i wanted something a little bit more my style um nothing really cloth so then i was gonna get that one brand i always see on instagram don't know the name of it but it's like really cute they make it look so trendy but it's like nylon and then I looked at reviews. People love it, but then a lot of people are like, it gets dirty. It doesn't look like, it doesn't hold its shape. So I'm like, okay, I want a bag that holds its shape. Guys, this is important. This is a diaper bag. <laughs> so I got this diaper bag, but eventually I probably will get another one. I saw one on Crate and Barrel. Let me show you the brand um, on Crate and Barrel as well. Um, I like it. But I think when she gets a little older, I'll be able to get this one and I'll be able to use it. This one is cloth. It isn't wipeable. I'm trying to see like how people like it. I just don't like when diaper bags look worn out. Look really used fast. And don't have like, there's milk on them or they're dirty and sticky. So, okay. The Dag Dag Dagny Dover. Okay, you guys have to help me with this. The name of it, how to say it. Let me just show y'all. This is on Crate and Barrel. So this is the Dagne, Dagne Dover um, Indie Diaper Backpack Large. So this one's 215. So I was like, this would be a good diaper bag as she gets a little older, but the one I have is a little more vers like versatile for right now. And would be good for her to use now. So, y'all ready? Okay, here we go. So, I, when I was in college, I read about why people, what makes people buy certain items. So, like, I bought this backpack because it took me back to childhood. It took me back to when I was would babysit. It took me back to like when I was younger, and I was like, I want that diaper bag. So that was my impulse of buying was <laughs> me wanting these this backpack when I was younger. Okay, so let me show you why I got this 
this um, print as well was because I was like, you might as well, it's a girl. Um, <laughs> I think we can, I can pull it off. And I did not want something that was more brown leather that kind of reminded me more boy or, um, so this is the one that fell in my color palette, okay? Let me show you. So guys, I went with a Petuna Pickle backpack. I had to. <laughs> so, came in this bag. I ordered from online, from Petuna Pickle. Um, so, this backpack. It's a backpack, guys. I'm going to show you all. So, you can do backpack version. So here it is. It is boxy, but I love the boxiness of it. Okay. Then it has a zipper in the back, back here. You can put even like your wallet if you wanted to. Okay. Then it has a little baggie. You can put the pacifier in. Then it has for even like um, you have your water bottle. You want to put your water bottle in on each side or a cold bottle or a bottle with water eventually. So this is the Petuna Pickle Bottom. It's a zip out changing station. That's what won me because I was like, it's gonna be easy for Preston. White case, stroller straps, two insulated bottle packets, and crossbody um, strap and padded backpack strap. So this is Boxy Backpack Leatherette. Um, I'll link it down below. It says Petuna Pickle Bottom is designed to withstand, this is what got me, the joy and adventure of m modern motherhood. 100% Petuna, 100 Petuna guarantee. So then you open it, it opens with the flap. So to change her diaper, all you do is, there you go. That's all you do. And then you can make it longer. It's so much, so easy. I thought of Preston, pull out the wipes, put a couple diapers here, and it's easy. He doesn't have to dig in the bag, pull out a bunch of stuff. But like I wanted to make it easy for him. Then when you look inside, let's take that out and that. Okay, so when you look inside, these are for the stroller straps, but I actually bought some nicer ones um, from Petuna, but yeah. And then so this would strap on. Uh, let's put it here. This will strap on this side. Oh. Okay, so you can extend it too. So you can have it as a bag like this. So, then there's so many compartments in here. There's a back pocket that has the leather fabric care. Okay, and then I can put like my wallet in here. Then if you look inside, it has two more things for bottles inside. And then it has compartments here. So there's so much room in here and it's wipeable. It's a leatherette. So it's their version of like their leather, um, but it's wipeable. I read reviews. I haven't heard it peeling. I haven't heard um, anything honestly negative and it's Petuna Pickle like guaranteed. So I'm sure if anything would happen, they would be able to, you know, help you out. But this is my back, my diaper bag. It's Literally what I wanted, everything. I wanted the fold down mat. I wanted it easy for Preston. I wanted even my water bottles, or you can put your cold bottle here. And um, so, and it fits a lot. So this is what I'm gonna put in my diaper bag, y'all. So, that's a diaper bag. I also bought this. I'm dropping everything. <laughs> I bought this little pouch right here. So this is a cool Pixel Plus. This is for the cold bottle. So um, I'm planning to breastfeed, so we'll see how I like that. But I can put the cold pouches in here with the ice pack and it will keep it cold. So I really like that. So 
that is going to go in my diaper bag. Okay. Then let's see here. Let's start with, I did, I got shoulder straps as well. Okay. In my diaper bag, I'm always going to have a swaddle. Um, and then I'll always have a blanket too, um, depending on the weather, but I'll always have a swaddle for her. I'll always have two extra change of clothes, but I'm just showing you guys one right now. This is a little newborn one from her Aunt Molly. So there's always a newborn. Then I'm always going to have a pair of socks in her little baggie, I'll show you. But um, I need to wash all her stuff still, so I'll always have a pair of socks for her. So always a um, baby outfit, a uh, swaddle, and then a pair of socks. And I'll always have a bow for her inside her little bag. So I'll always have that, and then I will have, they're right here, I will always have a burp cloth as well. Importance of your birth cloth. If I end up doing breastfeeding, which I want to, I'll have the nursing cover with me in my bag. Okay, and then from here, diapers, newborn diapers are going in my bag. I specifically got the small pamper these little, the smaller ones, the Pampers, for this container, because I was like, we have to use this container. So, there we go. Look how it fits perfect. So, that goes in there, but oh, I'll have a bigger pack too. Depends on where we're going. Okay, so, and then, so wipes. Diapers and wipes. Nursing cover. I'll write all this down for y'all. Socks, outfit, burp cloth, and uh, a um, swaddle. Then bottles. I'm going with the uh, um, Dr. Brown's glass anti-colic um, bottle. So these are the ones I got. So they have them online. I saw them at Target today as well. So I was like, oh, well, they got them in because last time I went, they didn't have them. So glass bottles um but I won't take this to the hospital because I'm gonna do breastfeeding so I'm gonna do my best <laughs> okay and then another purchase I got was I thought these are really cool off of Amazon I'll link them down below for you guys so I was looking I wanted to have a little pouch for me and a little pouch for her so I got a set that says baby and mama. So this is baby set and this is my set. So in the diaper bag, I'll have a little, this little clutch will be mine. So I'll have like my compacts, my wallet, my lipstick and keys in here, let's say. Then in hers, we're gonna put together It zips up. So what we would put her little pair of sock in here, her little headband. <laughs> I got a, also, I got two sets, so a thermometer, and I am gonna always have this in her baggie. Nail clippers, no syringe, and brushes in her um in her little baby baggie. Always have that for her. And then I got, whoop, I'll pick those up right now, Vaseline hand, hand sanitizer. Okay, so, and then I got Desitin to have in the diaper bag. Um, and the, I showed you those on the swipes already. Hand sanitizer, Vaseline, um, and then And then I have Baby Magic. So I know like everyone has their product they're going to use. I'm gonna use Mustela for um, Baby Girl as well. But my mom uses this on me and Destiny uses this on Saint. My mom just basically would put it on our hair when we were little and then maybe like our hands or just our little outfit, like rub it on our outfit. Um, not the face, not the really, not really the body, but more the hands and the hair, but Baby Magic is just the scent of 
memories of us when we were babies. My mom used it, my sister used it, so of course I'm going to use it. Just on the hair because it smells so good. If you've never tried smelled baby magic, you're missing out. <sighs> so yummy. And I know like just a little bit on the hair. I mean, there's so many products out there that are clean and like organic, but like still, I mean, come on. I gotta use this. <laughs> so I got, this is the smallest version I can find. On Amazon, they have like 20 little ones. I'm like, I'm not gonna use 20 little ones. So I just got this, I'll throw in the um, diaper bag. And then, um, and then eventually as I figure out the bottle and like the breastfeeding, I'll have to have that in my bag as well. But yeah, so this is my diaper bag reveal. I'll link everything down below. I'll even write down what is going in my bag. If I forgot something, comment down below. Let me know. I don't mind it at all. <laughs> Please share with me if I forgot anything or if something that I don't have that works for you that you like to have in your bag. Comment down. Let me know. Also, too, with um, diaper bags as well. Let me know. I'm, like, here for it, so let me know. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think what else. I think I have everything here. But um, if I'm missing anything, let me know. I know as they get older, things change. You know, you get baby food, you have teething tablets, you can do Tylenol. But infants right now, I'm like, I think I looked up stuff you need. This is pretty much covered. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and um, put all this away. But then I will um, link it all down below. So, uh, so yeah, um, we came home. And now uh, we got home and now um, Preston had to go to work and do some stuff. So I'm just here cleaning, organizing, putting everything back where it belongs because if um, you saw this morning, the exterminators, um, the, we call him the bug guy, he came to spray inside and outside. So which is good now Preston can build um, baby girls crib and there'll be no more spiders. Um, just summertime, you know, spiders try to come out, but um, that was a big thing today. kind of threw off my whole plan for vlogging, but, you know, you just got to adjust and do what you can do. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, so I'm probably just going to put all this away, um, probably run to Target with my mom. She asked me if I wanted to go to Target, and I was like, sure, you don't turn down a Target, you know, run. <laughs> I thought that was her. Um... And then I'm just going to kind of like, honestly, like tidy up stuff. Oh, I also got some really cute containers at Target. Let me show you. When I saw this sage green, I was like, yes, give me them. So these were only $2 each. So I got three. Um, I want to put her socks and her bows in these. And then I can put them in her little um, dresser, um, all moth. Because, and then also in her cart, these would be really good just for organizational reasons and even toys. Oh, I forgot a toy. I wanted to put a toy in her, um, a toy in her bag just to have a toy. So either this one or this cute little toy right here. I'll put this little one, the taggies. I think that's so cute. A toy. You can't go wrong with, but not with having a toy. So I'm going to go ahead and um, whew, uh, put all this away and then I'm going to probably figure out putting other stuff away because, I mean, I showed you my house. It is a mess. Um, <laughs> there's just been so much stuff coming in the mail. Um, things we need, things we have to put away. Everything was out because uh, we had to take everything out from the, like, walls, cab, and certain cabinets, so yeah, we, it's like every day is a cleaning day, it's sad, <laughs> but um, all I know is before baby comes, it is going to be clean, and it's going to be all organized, so I'm happy this diaper bag set is, so I can put all this away in it now, so yeah, alrighty guys, let me go ahead and put this away, and then I'm going to figure out my next steps, what to do. I just got back from Target, look what I found, how cute is this picture? It is Wall Art Threshold Studio McGee, $12. It is so cute. I have to figure out a place to put it in our house. <laughs> I had to get it. So let me see where I decided to put it. 
Now I'm gonna make some homemade salsa because I'm craving it. It's way past dinner time, but it's 8.18. <laughs> I'm making dinner, Preston's almost on his way home. I'm making some homemade salsa. And then I'm making his favorite Trader Joe's organic white cheddar. And then I'm doing some chicken breasts for him from Trader Joe's. So it's time to cook and make some dinner for the hubby. Um, yeah, he's hungry. So <laughs> I think it's, you know, I got to make him dinner. So let's get cooking. So yeah, it's like dinner time, so I need to make dinner for the hubby. Um, I'm gonna start with my chicken, and then I'm gonna boil the water for the noodles, and then make the homemade salsa. He should be here by 9.15, so that gives me about an hour to do it all. Then hopefully when he gets home, he could um, hang my picture. <laughs> I have to figure where I want it. I think I want it on this wall. But we'll see, it's so cute, so I don't know where I want it. I'm like, it looks more living room than bedroom. So I think I'm gonna do the living room. I think I'm gonna do this ball right here. So yeah, it, I was looking at the sunset. It was so pretty tonight, the sunset. It's beautiful. I try to get a glimpse of it. I'll put it in right here. But I try to, try to get a glimpse and it was a little hard because the sun was already going down. <laughs> I kind of missed it. <laughs> but yeah, so let me get cooking. And um, he should be here soon. feeling this jazz music right now <laughs> um i cut the jalapenos and onion and cilantro i need to get a bigger pan so i can put the tomatoes in as well because i'm using this pan for the chicken and then i'm going to boil water cut the tomatoes so it smells yummy it's so late to eat but <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do but yeah um if you just put on jazz music you'll feel like you're somewhere else and it will definitely get you in the mood. I'm currently, my room is so cold, the air is on over there. Um, it's dark, but I'm currently <laughs> hungry. So I'm just waiting for this food. And then um, I am looking at this um, girl that's on Instagram. She's a lot like my style. She don't have a YouTube, but she has, um, Instagram so I'm looking at her kitchen to see how like she would style it because I think I need to do little like updates in my kitchen um kind of bored with it now so I'm gonna see where to put that horse picture I'm looking on her Instagram right now to get some ideas but um yeah let me see what she does and I will show you guys what I end up where I end up putting that horse photo so let me finish cooking
we had dinner, we chilled and relaxed. Now I'm going to bed. I'm gonna wash my face, put my moisturizer on. Mary Kay, let me show y'all in case you haven't seen it. My Mary Kay Extra Emollient Night Cream, which I'm gonna put on my face, and then I'm going to do my favorite honest um, glow on body oil no stretch marks and so I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face take this makeup off put some cozy pajamas on and go to sleep um, this vlog I really wanted to focus on just the diaper bag so I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here um, because I wanted to just I wanted to focus more on the diaper bag which I'll link down below and I'll link all of the products that I put in my diaper bag for you guys. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching this vlog. Comment down below if you guys have any tips on what to put in your diaper bag. If I was missing anything. <laughs> um, and also uh, comment down below with your favorite diaper bag brand. That's a good one because, you know, you can have more than one diaper bag. So, <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so I ended up cleaning, sweeping, putting things away. My restroom's all clean now. The only thing that has to go in our shed is this little silver, I mean gold, um, little, gold little like coffee table side end that needs to go in our shed, but that's the only thing. I have my suitcase here that I have to kind of finish up for um, the hospital, but other than that, my restroom is clean, that's a check, which is feels so good. And then my room will be done probably like next week. So it's coming along, it's getting there. And then with the horse picture, I have not found a place for it yet. So I kind of want to redo the kitchen area a bit. So I'll probably do that next week or something. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel, like and comment. Um, and I'll see you next on the next vlog. The next vlog is going to be, I believe it's the, I believe it's a stroller reveal. That's a big one. I believe it's that. And then it'll be nursery reveal. And um, another one's gonna be nesting and that's where I'm gonna like wash and then I'm going to show you guys some Mary Kay makeup that I bought recently as well. So it's going to be good. It's going to be good. And then after baby's born, we're going to go back to all fashion and outfits and all that inspiration for um, fashion. So I'm excited for that. But yes, I'm going to go to bed, wash my face and get in bed. It's so exciting to get in bed when you're like so tired and uh, all my pajamas now are just like oversized t-shirts oversized t-shirts at this point so i'm okay with that <laughs> okay i'll see you guys next vlog bye